Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Huge gaming news today. Huge gaming news this evening. This evening there was news that came out. Microsoft is removing Xbox One DRM. Microsoft is calling in a take back seize. Microsoft basically said, oh crap, things are not looking so hot for us. Not so good. Um, if you didn't see the E3 video, I mean you didn't have to see the E3 video that I made to understand what was going on in the world of gaming, but uh, in the E3 video I got to see firsthand the conferences, you got to see my reactions to the conferences, and uh, things are not so good. It's not that the Microsoft one was bad, but Sony's conference, man, man, it, it, and it, it actually wasn't even that Sony's conference was that good. They just really took the opportunity to see a weakness in Microsoft, see a weakness in the Xbox One, and punch it right in the gut. Uh, for those who haven't been following the story, Xbox has had this uh, massive DRM plan that uh, they've been talking about, or at least it's been leaking out for probably a year at this point. Uh, you would not be able to uh, trade games. Uh, whenever you buy a disc, that disc would be locked to your console. Uh, so essentially you would lose out on being able to, to uh, buy used games from GameStop, etc. And also they had an always online mode uh, where your system has to connect to their servers at least once every 24 hours in order to play your games. So it was a lot of DRM and a lot of people, a lot of people, were very unhappy with it. So, to see everything completely turn around is actually not all that unexpected. Um, just for the fact that Sony has so much support and people have been able to see the support that Sony has had. Microsoft sees that support and says, oh, you know, maybe we can't do this. Now, to be fair, not everyone hated the DRM. You want to know someone who didn't hate the DRM? That doesn't mean that I was for the DRM, that just means that it didn't bother me. Not being able to buy used games doesn't bother me. Not uh, Having to have an online check once every 24 hours doesn't bother me. And I know that there's other factors there. People are like, it doesn't even matter about your internet connection. It matters about Microsoft servers. And that, yes, you could ar argue uh, a lot of different scenarios all day, but when it came right down to it, Nothing that Microsoft said made me particularly dislike their console. Nothing they said would have dissuaded me from, you know, not buying an Xbox One. Really. Seriously. I was still interested in the Xbox One, knowing everything about the, the DRM. I was still equally interested in the PS4 and the Wii U. I would like to eventually own all of the consoles, and I probably will, although it's going to be a while. But, uh, Xbox now doesn't have this DRM because there was such an outcry over it. So, on one hand, consumers win, I guess, right? Because everyone loves the PlayStation and the this format of, um, you know, being able to go to a game stop, stop and buy used games, not having to be connected to the internet. And even though it didn't matter much to me, I can understand why these things are important to people. So I'm not like, well, you guys are stupid. Obviously, it's important. Um, that being said, there are a few, I guess, features that we're going to lose out on, which actually bother me a little bit. Uh, the concept of being able to buy a disc, put that disc into your Xbox, and then have that disc, you know, tied to your Xbox, and then never needing the disc again, was actually thrilling to me. Really, because I am someone who loves to put games on a shelf. I love it. And if you don't believe me, Watch some of the other videos where we show off the game room. We've got, at this point, just the near as a hair 700 video games, and we like to put them on, up on a shelf to display them, even though we don't have enough shelf space to do it. So the concept of putting a video game up on the shelf is great. I love that. Um, but I also love not having to get that game off of the shelf. I'm lazy, and if I can have 20 video games installed on my console like I do my computer, that's great. That can just sit down with a controller, I can, you know, plop down on my couch, say Xbox on, and, you know, I can say, let's play this, and then we're playing that game. And we don't have to go to the shelf and get, get the disc. So that's actually something that I was kind of anticipating, sort of. I mean, now that it's not there, is it a, a huge bother? No. I just really hope that there's some way they can work around that. Um, maybe there's going to be some publishers uh, that allow you to have both. 
And maybe you can get a physical copy and a digital copy. They do that with movies now. Like when you buy a Blu-ray at the store, you also get the digital copy. So maybe some publishers will do that. That would be awesome. Because that's actually something I was really looking forward to. Now that being said, I don't feel like Xbox One was going to particularly be my favorite console of this next generation. Right now I'm looking at all three consoles equally. I try to look at everything with an unbiased view when I can. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's just something that... I was kind of excited about, and now that it's not there, I'm just like, well, whatever. Now they're all the same. Anyway, I wanted to hear your thoughts on this. Do you feel that consumers won today? Uh, were you like me, where you're just kind of indifferent, and you're like, eh, I didn't really care. Maybe there were some features, uh, kind of like the, you know, the installed discs that you were looking forward to, um, because I know that I was. I've talked to a few people, and, you know, this still doesn't affect their decision to get an Xbox One. They're like, no, you know, there's other policies I'm still not happy with. Um, or, you know, I've just never been interested in, you know, Microsoft or the games that the, uh, the developers that develop games exclusively for Microsoft systems develop. So there are some people that still aren't going to care. And a lot of people are upset about the price tag. You know, it's $500 compared to the PS4's $400 price tag. Um, to that, and I actually just wrote this on uh, someone's Facebook wall this evening, um, just wait. Just wait. Don't buy a console at launch. Any console. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, at most, you're going to have, what, one, two games that you're really, really going to want to play if you're lucky. Wait a year. Do it. Do it. Wait a year. If you can. Wait 18 months. Give it some time to develop a, uh, a large library and also for there to be a possible price drop or a really good bundle. That's what we're going to do. I mean, we're coming up on the year mark for the, uh, the Wii U being out. And uh, we're going to start looking at the Wii U. We're waiting on a little price drop, maybe waiting on a better bundle. And it's going to be the same thing with the PS4 and the Xbox One. Anyway, Xbox One has lost its CRM. Talk about that. Thank you so much for watching. And let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? When we are going to be meeting my extended family. Which is weird. Um, they've never been on the blog before. In fact, I haven't seen my extended family in uh, over five years. It's been, I think, five years this month since I have seen them. And the last time I saw them was uh, during my grandfather's funeral, and that was well before the vlog had uh, began. So they are going to be on the vlog tomorrow, and uh, my grandma's actually in town, and I, I actually got a chance to already see her uh, last night. We haven't vlogged anything because I was just going to vlog everyone tomorrow, but uh, that is a thing. So that's all going to be happening tomorrow. And just one little, little final note, I'm going to show you this image. Uh, this image is probably a little humorous. Uh, that's me on the left, and that picture was uh, circa 2006. And the picture on the right is my father, and that is today. In both of those situations, our brains are hooked up to a bag or a hard drive, uh, essentially. It's recording information. I had to wear it for, I believe, 48 hours. My dad only has to wear it for 24. Um, I don't want to jump very deep into this right now. It's not something I really want to talk about because there's a lot we don't know. Um, and I don't want, I, I really hate to almost tease this because I don't want to tease medical issues, but I just want to, I guess what I'm trying to do is I want, I want to have given you something so you know that this was a thing so I don't surprise you with information later is kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this the best way I can. I just, there's a lot we don't know right now, so I don't want to talk about it too much. Um, for my side of the picture, I can explain that. Uh, back in 2006, I started getting really, really bad headaches. I actually started going blind, and um, I didn't really know what was happening. I would get migraines to the point that I would actually white out and have uh, temporary lapses of blindness. And uh, we did a lot of tests on me, uh, whole body tests, you know, uh, heart tests, brain tests, whatever, and that was one of the things they did so they could monitor my brain activity. Uh, and that's more or less what they're doing with my dad. He didn't have the same issue, but um, there's some brain stuff that they're trying to monitor. And it's going to be something we talk about at length at a later date. I do not know when, um, but just bear with me until, until we do. I know this is kind of a weird way to end the vlog, and I, I apologize for that. But once again, just kind of wanted to get this out here now, so later on... I can at least say, well, remember that old vlog? <laughs> I did, did kind of throw that bone at you. Uh, anyway, talk about Xbox DRM. Let's, we don't have to mention this. We'll talk about it later when there's, when there's more to know. See you guys tomorrow. It's like one. It's hot. And it's really hot. It's like there's the sun. It's burning my...
my everything right now. I still have yesterday. This is so great. I love just like prancing around. The big one looks cat. like Rocco. He does look like Rocco, and the little the little black one in front there kind of looks like Sagan. Mm -hmm. And I'll just imagine that the one next to him is Kepler. 